welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage, where we're bringing you daily Bronco videos. Today, we're gonna to talk about airing your tires down. So if you're planning on going off-road, even if you're just driving on a regular dirt road that might have washboard, you're gonna to wanna to air down your tires. It makes the ride so much better, and even in the new Bronco, which has a great suspension, independent front suspension, we've driven roads at full pressure, and, and it was a good ride. If you air down to even 20, 25 pounds, it makes the ride that much better. Plus your traction is gonna be much better also. So there's a lot of different ways to air down. One of them is just doing it manually. Pushing down the pin inside the valve core in order to release air and then using a pressure gauge to check your pressure as you go down. You don't need any tools to do that other than a tire pressure gauge. The second would be to actually unscrew the valve core. There are tools out there that actually unscrew the valve core. You get air out of a tire if you're running big tires, 40s and stuff like that. It gets air out of the tire much quicker and allows you to air down. We have not decided to use those. What we are using is we're using the brass deflators that have the automatic lock on it. There are many different variations of this same thing and they seem to all be very similar. If you read the reviews on them, everybody has positives and negatives about it. The ones that we're using are $20 on Amazon. We'll link the description below if you want to pick up a set of these or even just check them out. They're super convenient for a lot of reasons. One, they come in a really nice carrying case here. When you open it up, you'll see you have your brass deflators on the inside. And then when you look at the quality of them, the tolerances between the cap and the body make it easy to screw on and off. And then looking at the O-rings and the other parts in it, they look nicely made. I'm gonna show you how these work and then we're gonna give them a test on our Bronco and see how long it takes to deflate our tire and how accurate they are. And then we're gonna modify them in another video to cure what is the biggest negative of this type of deflator. You have the end that screws onto your valve stem right there. And then once you back off the top, you'll notice that there's a spring in there and there's also a plunger in there as well. The plunger has no ring in it and then on the inside you can see where the air comes out through this device and then it exits out two small holes here on the side and then you've got your lock nut right there which is made for adjusting. So what I suggest first is cleaning these to make sure that you know they're they're free to move up and down, slide up and down. And then I also lubricated them just with a little bit of WD-40 and then I wiped it completely down so that dust would not get attracted to it. Slid them back in there, put the spring back in. I've already got this set to 22 pounds, which is uh, typically what we're using when we're driving inside the front range on washboards, climbing, crawling. That's what we found works best for this Bronco. So we've set these at 22 pounds. The question is, we've never really timed it. So typically what we do is we're gonna start at the front here and we're gonna place one in the front. And as that is releasing the air off the front tire, I'm gonna go and do them on all four corners. And then by the time I get back over here, we should be more than halfway to our 22 pounds. And then, although these aren't perfect, they do have this little release button on the top. With the Bronco, we can cheat a little bit. We've got a built-in air pressure gauge. It's not perfect, but then again, if I can get them between 24 and 22 pounds each, we're gonna probably be okay. I can go and release it a little bit after that. We're gonna reset this so that we can get to 22 pounds all the time. If all you wanted it to do was stop at 22 pounds and just leave it screwed in. Then I'll give you a tip on airing down faster with the Bronco uh, right after that. First have this lock nut all the way down and then turn the top nut all the way down so that it's tight. So this is as tight as it can go and this is all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that I've got this at the desired pressure, I'm gonna screw this on and it doesn't release any air right now. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start releasing this top nut right here very slowly until I start to hear it leak air. Okay, right there it's leaking. So then I'm gonna turn it till it stops right there. And then I usually back it off just a hair backwards, right there. And then I'm gonna take the lock nut, spin the lock nut back to meet it and lock those together. Now this one is set at 22 pounds. And what happens is as this releases air, this has a spring on it, this plunger has a spring on it. And as you back this out, that spring has less pressure on it. So it allows air to escape at a lower pressure. The tighter you have it in, the more 
that spring compresses and the harder it is for the pressure to push this pin out to allow air out. That's the reason why I coated that O-ring with WD-40 is to keep that ring from sticking uh, and, and hopefully making it more accurate. You can actually set this down below your desired pressure by a little bit if you're gonna be actively monitoring it. So instead of setting it at 22, I would set it at 20 and then it would keep releasing pressure at a higher rate down low. As long as someone was watching that gauge and can tell you when to pull it off, then you're good to go. You can actually knock a few minutes off of your time airing down your tires, which is not necessarily important. Uh, but if you needed to do that, you could. But right now they're set at 22 pounds. I can screw them on and walk away. And I know that when I get back there, they're gonna be around 22 pounds. If you're wondering how to get to your tire pressure, hit the menu button, come down here to off rotate, okay? And then tire pressure is one of the options that you have, we're gonna hit okay. And then now it'll show us we've got 40 pounds, 39, 40, and 40. And 39, we just released about a pound of pressure. We've got right here, we normally roll 44, uh, but we've been on some rough roads lately, so we just dropped it down to 40, some rough uh, pavement. So now we're gonna watch and see how fast we can get this down to 22. We are at 40, 41, uh, all the way around the truck, and we're gonna go down to 22. Now I have preset our deflators at 20, uh, which is what I normally do because I don't just stand around and wait for the air to go out. Um, I will screw them in all the way around, then come back to this one, and then Mandy will say 22, I'll unplug that one, then she'll yell 22 again, I'll unplug that one, 22 and 22. And that way we save probably about 10 minutes doing it that way. But if you wanted to set these at your desired rating, you can just walk away from them. It takes a little bit longer, but you don't have to wait for someone to tell you to unscrew them. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna see how fast we can get it down to 22 pounds. I'm gonna start the clock right now. I think sometimes getting these caps off is takes longer than anything else. Especially with these Bronco wheels. These Bronco wheels are very hard to get the caps off of. So now we've got the front passenger at 29. The rear passenger is right behind it. The rear driver is at 34 and the front passenger is at 35. So she's gonna call them out as they are finishing up. So that was the alarm for the 25 right there. So we know we're at 25. All right, I'm pulling off the front passenger right now. That's off. All right, so now I'm pulling off the rear passenger. Now I'm pulling off the back driver. Yeah, that one up front, there's always one of these that has a tendency to be slow. So one of the nice things about it is when you're doing this, you can actually adjust. I just adjusted that deflator out just a hair. All right, pulling off front driver. The way that we had to set the deflators, we had set them at 20 to get some air flowing faster, but we got the tires deflated in seven minutes, 52 seconds to about 21 pounds. I would release that front one another probably half pound to get it to the 21 pound range. Success, seven minutes, 52 seconds. That's pretty fast for deflating tires. So we've proven a couple of things. The first thing is that we can deflate all four tires in the Bronco down to about 21 pounds in less than eight minutes, which is pretty good. Uh, that, that is as fast as I've ever done it. We did set these at 20 pounds in order to get them down to that a little bit faster. And we did notice that obviously when you buy a set of these, there's always gonna be one that's a little slower than the rest. We're gonna make some modifications to these in another video next week to see if we can speed these things up a little bit and maybe even improve the accuracy of them because they're inexpensive, but they're still very valuable tools. The second thing that we learned is that the onboard pressure system in the Bronco likes to keep things at even numbers and jump in two. So we were probably releasing the air a little too fast for it to catch up, but it basically jumped down to 29, then 27, then 25, then 23, then 21. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything that may not even be scientific. If you have someone sitting in the driver's seat of the Bronco, it makes it super easy to use these things and air down accurately and fast. The link to these deflators will be in the description if you decide that that's something that you wanna do. And join us tomorrow to show our new air inflator that I think is probably the best one on the market for the money. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're putting out daily Bronco videos. Check the end screen for all of our other great videos. Yeah.